and welcome back to Lycan Studios. So I actually have some great news for the two of you who have pledged over $20. This is going out to Dante Williams and Zachary AK. I actually just got the postcards in the mail, so I will be sending them out very soon. I really appreciate it, guys. But anyways, as you can tell by the title of this video, we are going to jump into the fate of Bran Stark. Now this is going to be a really hard video to make. I'm probably going to be doing some research like while I'm making this video, but we're going to see how it turns out. So the only other video we've done so far predicting the character's fate has been Sansa Stark. I know a lot of you guys actually like really enjoyed the video, but there was a couple people who just got really butthurt that I think that Sansa is going to die. So I just want to throw this out. As a disclaimer, this is not what's going to happen at all. This is just kind of what I feel could go down. It doesn't mean that I dislike the character if I think they're going to die. It doesn't mean I really like love the character if I think they're going to live. This is just a prediction. If you'd like to check out that video, definitely check the description below. I'll be putting a picture of the thumbnail on the video right now. But anyways, let's jump into the channel shout out so we can get right into the video. I'm going to try to start keeping these intros a little bit shorter because I know they are kind of drug out sometimes. But anyways, today's shout out goes to the one and only Moose. I really appreciate it, man. You're constantly commenting on all the videos, liking, you're subscribed, obviously, and it just means a lot, bro. Everybody be sure to leave a comment saying Moose is awesome. The lady, Olena Tyrell, actually has been doing this on all the videos. Whoever I shout out, she's like, yeah, you're awesome. So I really appreciate it. We're just going to try to start building like some real cool friendships on this channel and of course as always if you like the video make sure to smash that thumbs up button we're going to be trying to hit 200 once again also if you want a shout out in a future video just keep liking keep commenting you'll get one soon i promise and the last thing i want to say before we jump into the video thank you guys all for watching all the support on that last video we're never going to talk about it again and i also want to say a huge shout out to azura hype he's been messaging me and stuff and just giving me some tips i just wanted to say i really appreciate it but anyways let's talk about brand stark so I'm sure most of you guys know pretty much everything there is to know about him, but we are going to talk a little bit about some background information. So obviously Bran is the fourth child and second son of Lady Catelyn and Lord Eddard Stark. Born and raised in Winterfell, his story really kicks off as soon as he is pushed out of the tower by Jaime Lannister. He loved to climb, so he found himself kind of in the wrong place at the wrong time. He's seen Jaime and Cersei getting it on, and Jaime pushes him out the window. Although he ends up comatose for a while, he ends up eventually surviving the fall, but not without losing the use of his legs. While this does definitely take its toll on Bran, he begins to start dreaming about the Three-Eyed Raven, which is what begins to make him probably the most interesting character in the world of Game of Thrones. So then you guys know that King Robert and Ned are basically killed in a short time frame, leaving Rob to ride off to war. This leaves Bran in charge of Winterfell, but it really doesn't last that long. He is awoken by Theon Greyjoy, who is now a traitor to Robb Stark, who tells him that he has seized Winterfell. <laughs> After an extremely botched execution, Bran manages to escape with Osha's help. They are of course accompanied by his brother Rickon and their direwolves, and then Hodor. Can't forget about Hodor. So then of course Winterfell is sacked and he decides to go on the road to Castle Black. Later down the road, this is when he meets Jojen Reed and his sister Mira. Jojen possesses the sight, the rare gift of seeing the past and present through his dreams, and is able to speak with Bran through their dreams. Jojen also saw the Three-Eyed Raven, who is apparently responsible for bringing the sight to them and tells Bran he is a warg, someone who can control the minds of animals. After deciding to go beyond the wall, they take shelter in a windmill. With wildlings all around him, Hodor starts getting scared of the thunder and Bran actually wargs into him, revealing that he can warg into people. He then skin changes through Summer and Shaggy Dog and mauls some of the wildlings. He sees Jon Snow, but decides he needs to go beyond the wall to find the raven. This is where Osha and his brother leave them. After they make it across the wall, some time passes and it basically shows that Bran is getting better with his warging. He has a couple visions and then he basically says he knows where they have to go. They end up resting near Craster's Keep and actually end up being imprisoned. Eventually, they escape again by Bran warging into Hodor and killing their captors and decide to continue on their journey to find the raven. Right as they get to the giant weirwood tree, they are attacked by a group of whites. Jojen is fatally stabbed and Mira attempts to save him, but Jojen basically says, leave him for dead. They are helped by a child of the forest who lead them into a cave after burning Jojen's body. She explains that the whites cannot enter as the magic that reanimates them have no power there. They end up meeting the old man who is actually the three-eyed raven and he basically says that Jojen knew he was going to die. So some more time passes and we see a couple visions, mainly Hodor and also the one where his dad is actually fighting outside the tower of joy and this is where we learn something really really interesting he actually calls out to his dad who turns around but can't spot who whose voice it was before bran can actually find out that liana is actually john's mother the three-eyed raven brings them both out of the past and he acknowledges that the younger ned heard him 
He also warns Bran not to interfere with the past. He also learns how the Night King was actually created by the Children of the Forest. Leaf says that they basically did it to prevent the First Men from destroying more of their sacred trees and the extinction of their people during war. Without talking to the Raven, he decides to use the green sight connecting with the Weirwood tree and sees the army of Whites and White Walkers. The Night King actually touches his arm, leaving basically them screwed. Because now the Night King, the army, and the Whites, of course, can enter where they're at. <sighs> and after that, Hodor dies. Ah, so sad. So after that, they're still escaping. It's just basically Bran and Mira now because Summer was also stabbed. Ah, sad face again. And they are actually rescued by Benjen Stark. So after explaining that he was basically saved by the Children of the Forest as well, he drops them off by a weirwood tree. Bran touches the tree and finds out that Jon Snow is actually Rhaegar Targaryen. Oh man, that gives me chills. So then they end up back at Winterfell. He basically talks to Sansa a little bit, kind of tells her that he is the three-eyed raven now, and this is where Mira actually leaves. This is kind of where that whole direwolf theory kicks in for Bran Stark, as I mentioned in Sansa's video. Basically, Bran says that he is no longer Bran Stark, and Mira says that he died in the cave which is actually where Summer died too, so that correlation is pretty cool. If you haven't seen that video, I highly suggest you checking it out because I think with all the Stark children, this is kind of where I'm getting a lot of my predictions from. I love this theory. So after that, everything with Littlefinger goes down, Bran ends up meeting Sam again. They put their discoveries together and find out that Jon is actually the heir to the Iron Throne. He is Aegon Targaryen. He ends up seeing the vision of the secret wedding of Rhaegar and Lyanna and realized that they actually loved each other and Robert's rebellion was based on an entire lie. And then to catch up to present time, he basically sees the Night King destroying a large portion of the wall using undead Viserion, allowing his army to march south. All right, so I know that was a lot of background information, but he is just such a crazy character that I just felt like we really needed to just catch up on everything. We really needed to get like this whole outline of what he's done so far. So for the predictions, I think we're going to start with probably one of the most popular theories out there. Most popular in-game theory, most popular brand theory, most popular Night King theory. That <laughs> Bran is the Night King. So I'm not going to lie. When I started getting into like theory videos and stuff like that, like one of my like most favorite theories out there was that Bran is the Night King. Since then, I've kind of started to lean away from it, but it definitely is like a crazy theory that they could easily make sense of. If you're not really familiar with the theory, I actually have a video on it that you can go back and check out. But to kind of summarize it a little bit, it's basically that Bran ends up getting stuck in the guy's body who becomes the Night King as he's trying to like find out how to defeat the Night King. He kind of just gets stuck in the past, kind of like the three eye raven warned him about, and it kind of just goes from there. It actually ties into like why the Mad King went mad because Bran goes back and like whispers to him. It ties him into like being Bran the Builder and stuff, which I'm not exactly too sure how that could happen, but it basically just says that Bran has kind of existed throughout time and he ends up getting stuck in the Night King's body. I could definitely see Bran just like trying really hard to figure out how to stop the Night King and end up getting stuck. I mean, we've already kind of seen it with like Hodor and stuff. Like he kind of was like doing stuff that he probably shouldn't. He was kind of digging too deep already. So I could see him kind of repeating that attitude and maybe possibly ending up stuck as the Night King. I think that the biggest reason that this theory like just hits home with a bunch of people is because we just do not know anything about the Night King and Bran is a pretty mysterious character himself. People kind of just think of those two things and they're like, alright, it could definitely happen. I mean, honestly, if you think about it, we're coming up on the final six episodes of Game of Thrones and we do not know anything behind the intentions of the Night King. We know why he was created, but we have no idea like what turned him to go down this path. We don't know like what he's trying to accomplish. We don't know what he did with those babies. Like we really don't know a lot about this character, which leads me to a huge point. One of the main reasons that we do not know anything about this character is because he was actually not mentioned in the books. There's the Knight's King, but not the Night King. There's a whole different meaning. Since I am a firm believer of the ending that George R.R. Martin like originally had in his head and has kind of just been like working his way up to this whole time, I feel like Bran is going to live. And I don't think that they're going to take a character that they've only implemented for the show and actually make him like turn out to be Bran Stark. I just don't see it happening. Like in the books, the Night's King has a good chance of being a Stark, but the actual Night King that was created by the Children of the Forest, I, I really don't see it happening. Like I feel like they're going to... It's going to be something that no one's really thought about yet. I don't really see them combining the Night King and the Night's King into the same character just because their histories are so different. But at the same time, I guess they could because the show has obviously taken a whole different path than the books. But I kind of feel like George R.R. Martin wants his ending to be his ending. Like, I can't see him watching the show 
and making it a way that he did not want it to end which includes those five original characters living. So I think Bran will live. So with that being said, what kind of predictions can we come up with for Bran? If he's not going to be the Night King, he's obviously going to have some huge roles in this final season. He is definitely going to be a main part of destroying the Night King, I think. So we're gonna talk about it in part two. I'm so sorry, I probably just pissed a lot of you guys off, but for a good reason. So Bran is obviously the most intricate like interesting character there is on the show right now with that being said there's no way that i can cover this in one video i knew it was going to be two parts so the biggest thing is i want to feature you guys in episode two i want you guys to start leaving me all kinds of good comments talking about what you think is going to go down with brand and I'll try to read a lot of them and talk about them. So part two will 100% be coming out tomorrow. We'll start with probably my thoughts of what's going to get down with Bran. Then we'll move on to some Patreon's thoughts. And then we'll move on to your guys' thoughts. So we're going to be having a huge discussion trying to figure out what we think is going to go down with Bran. Also, if you made it this far in the video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button and leave me a question for the upcoming Q&A. I was actually planning on releasing it today, but I don't know. I just kind of got the itch to make this video about Bran. So anyways, we'll see you guys in that next video video can't wait to cover it can't wait to see all your guys's thoughts and stuff and yeah this has been like in studios peace